rough, rough videos. Hi, my ILM students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're going to do some fun scavenger hunts that you can do in your home or right next to your home. So what I want you to get out is a dry erase marker. I would like you to get a sheet protector and then pull out your Monday week 16 packet. Go to the very last page. And we're going to start with a scavenger hunt in the kitchen. And I'm going to talk about the different ways you can make this either more challenging or less challenging, depending on where you are right now. So it can be something as simple as find the pan or, or even hand me the pan. One step following directions. It can be something as simple as, you know, here's the pan, grab it, hand it to me. Or you can go and count how many pans you have if you want to make it more difficult. Or you can sort them, medium, large, small, however you want to do it. So let's go into the kitchen. This is a kitchen scavenger hunt. So here I am in the kitchen. The first thing is pan. Like I said, you can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. I'm going to go find a pan. Now, in Miss Kelly's mind, that's actually more, it looks like a pot. But however you want to look at it, I'm going to get one that looks like that picture. So hold on, let me find that. Be right back. Okay. go. Next item. Oh, you can mark off pot. Done. Next item, a vegetable. Now, this is a great opportunity to learn about vegetable versus fruit because even though these look and we call them vegetables quite often, they're really fruit. And same with these very delicious guys and every item in there. So I'm gonna to have to go into my vegetable drawer to see if I can find an actual vegetable. So hold on, I'm opening the fridge. I'm going into my bottom drawer and found two. Celery, which we had in our homemade turkey noodle soup and carrots, which we also had in the turkey noodle soup tonight for dinner. So I found one, two. You could even get as specific as counting how many carrots or how many stalks of celery, whatever you wanna do for the challenge, or just find one. And then you can mark it off. Vegetable, check. The next item is bowl, but wait, maybe I should put my vegetables away first. Hold on, let me put them back where they belong. Again, another great one step active. There we go, activity. Those one step activities are awesome because once they learn to follow one step directions, that helps a lot with everything else. Anything to do with independent living skills or our future employment. Next item is a bowl. Well, hmm, let's see what I have. Look, all my bowls are in the dishwasher except for these two. The top row of my bowls. One, two bowls. Now I can mark off bowl. And if you want, you can even put how many you found. Bowls. Put these back. The next item is plate. Well, you can see, so if they're not getting it, you they can even just show it to you where it is in the kitchen. Because when we're doing independent living skills, we're working in our kitchen. So we do need to know where these items are. Or if you need it to be more challenging, you can count how many plates you have. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight large plates. And maybe you want to know how many small plates you have. One, two, three, four, five small plates. And now I can cross off plates. What's the next item here? Oh, it's very specific. Two forks. I hope I have two forks. My dishwasher is running right now. I have exactly, oh, I actually have one. Two forks. One, two. So that is another concept of the scavenger hunt you can add. You can add the number of items that you want them to find. So I can cross off two forks because I found one, two forks. I'm going to put them back where they belong. The last item is fruit. And the fruit in the picture you see is banana, apple, and orange. So you can say, how many bananas do we have? Or just hand me a banana. Here's my bananas. One, two, three, four. I have four bananas. Look at that. Four. And I found my fruit. So there you go. That was our scavenger hunt in the kitchen. We're also going to do this in our live class. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Rough, rough video.